Hello and welcome to Wildesers channel. Now today we will be doing a VMware vSphere 7 Model 2 Part 2 VM and its component and SDDC, the software defined data center. Now virtual machine is an application which is running on an ESX host. Now what does it contain virtual machine? It has an OS that is called guest OS an application which you can decide what to install on that so the components of the virtual machine are guest operating system vmware tool and virtual resources such as cpu network disk controller physical and parallel serial ports cd rom display card gpu everything so these are the components of the virtual machine guest operating system could be windows 10 Windows 2016 server, Windows 2019 server, Linux server, Ubuntu server, any. Okay? It can have Oracle VM also, no issues. It will run virtual machine. To run an Oracle VM, you does not require that the base should be, hardware should be from Oracle, no. You can run the Oracle VM also on Intel machine of HP or IBM or any. Because virtual machine does not have any relation with the physical inside. The only relation is the CPU. If you are using Intel CPU, the virtual machine is designed for Intel CPU, the type of the CPU is registered. And when you are doing for AMD CPU, then the virtual machines you have to design for that, you have to create on that platform to match the resources. Otherwise, there will be a high resource utilization and conflict will be there. So to avoid that, so you just segregate. It will run, but the resource utilization will not be optimal. So that should be the care should be taken. Now, this is your VMware tool driver supports and virtual device like mouse action and other things. VMware VM are independent of physical hardware. You can have easy to V motion for any upgrade. If you have virtual environment and physical environment, physical environment is very hard to do the upgrade, matching issues, other issues will come. But whereas in you have virtual machine, you, you have multiple ESX hosts which are clustered together. You can be motion and you can shut down uh, one of the machines. You can do the upgrade, you can do that. Everything is fine. This is the architecture of your physical server. Physical server will have an operating system, say 2019 operating system, it will have a data, it could be a file share or it can be a SQL server database, also it will have an application on top of it. So it will have only one OS, one on hardware. You cannot have multiple hardware, do not tell me that we can have a boot option double. Ultimately you can boot in one operating system only, either you work on Windows 10 workstation or you can work on Windows 10 12 server. or or multi boot that is something different but at the end it will run one operating system here in virtualized environment you will have a physical server ESX host deployed on it and after that you will have multiple application as a virtual machines so this virtual machine will have what guest operating system it will have network resources VM tool and it will have all the CPU memory and everything will be there in this virtual machine this could be Windows 10 it could be Windows 19 2019 server, it could be Linux machine, whatever. The base is here, ESX host. Another are the guest. Guest operating system could be any which is supported on ESX host. VMware has designed its structures into virtualization, server virtualization. So what you see here, it is called from this server to virtualize. So this is called server virtualization. When you go to the network virtualization, there is NSXT which is the feature and the thing product of the VMware. This NSXT is giving you total network virtualization in which you can have granular setting. There is no VLAN in NSXT. There is a different concept. Micro segmentation is available. Neighboring machine cannot talk to each other. I mean, the, if the IP is 192.168.0.10, cannot talk with 192.168.0.11. In other normal switch VLAN, there is no policy. You cannot deploy any firewall policy or any other policy to stop them. They can talk with each other. But here, no, you can stop them by using micro segmentation. So horizontal level traffic is best control in this. This network virtualization has load balancer, firewall, switches, everything is there. 
So it has tap switches, overlay network, is all the, are the components of this uh, uh, NSXT. And VMware has a storage virtualization. In the storage virtualization, it is using as a vSAN. vSAN is the virtual storage virtualization in the VMware. In the vSAN, you will have multiple hosts into ESX host. In ESX host, you will have multiple hard disks. Those hard disks can be clubbed into the disk group, that is data group. And this data group will need one SSD disk compulsory to be as a cache disk for that data group. This disk group should have one, every disk group should have one SSD disk as a cache disk. So you can have on each of the ESX host equally matching number of disks because whenever you have to have node fault tolerance, then it should have the same size. So this, this should be taken care. You cannot have one server with a four disk and another server with a 10 disk and one server with a seven disk as a disk group. No, you have to have four, four, four disk group on all the servers equally. Each disk group will require one SSD as a cache disk. So this will club together and give you one big storage that will become as a virtual storage for you. There are multiple policies which will be deployed on virtual storage. Now, there is a desktop virtualization. That's called VDI. When you will have desktop solution for the employees or whatever the user. So virtual machines, which you, instead of using them, the normal machines, they can use the virtual machines. So it, you can assign their resources and policies based on that virtualization. Okay. Now, here, SDDC, Software Defined Data Center. I will power on some time. Now you see here something called physical layer, where you have one PC and a screen. That is called compute, storage, and the network. You will have some switches, big switch or XY switch, extreme switch, Cisco switch. You will have a storage, three-party storage, EMC storage, Hitachi storage, and you will have compute server, DLS servers, HP servers, IBM servers, EMC server, uh, sorry, um, now the Dell servers, MC. So this is called physical architecture. So this is physical. You just have to grow up from physical to the virtualized. So the same thing, VMware vSphere, it is giving you a virtual environment as just in the previous screen, you have seen a physical server and how it is converted into the virtual server. So virtual infrastructure layers are vSphere, which will give you the server virtualization. VMware vSAN, it will give you storage virtualization. So your storage is being, being taken care by vSAN. So what your network, instead of using all the, all the networks, you will get a VMware NSX. And a 16. So this gives you a virtual environment total solution from the VMware. There are other also giving this kind of solution. But NSX is the leading technology from the VMware. VMware is the oldest partner, 10, 12 years old in the virtualization leader. Now, to manage all this, you will require some manage and automation to do that, all the patching and other things. So you will require these components, we realize automation, we realize operation to manage, and we realize orchestra to get all the things together. This all layer are ca catalog, you want to give services to the other people, other entities in your organization, out of the organization, they can log in and they can create their server, self-serving portal, and if they will pick material means one, two, two server two application this side blah blah on your portal so this is called vcf vmware cloud foundation so this cloud foundation is made up of everything all in one now when you want to you are running a huge setup obviously you are focusing on your business continuity if your setup goes down you have to have other way other side setup to be up as soon as possible. That become on, uh, on your RPO and RTO, recovery point objective and then, then do you will require a vSphere replication. So what re vSphere replication is doing, the, the VM what you are having here, 
suppose I'm showing you VM which is running here, you will start replicating that VM onto the other side, but it is not powered on. It is not powered on. As soon as something happens, is when you want to power it on, this you have to cut off. Means this you have to shut down and power it on on this side. So this will give you the same VM with the same name, same IP, bit to bit in two minutes time. So this is what called vSphere replication. So vSphere here and vSphere onto the other side. So both will replicate the same VM from one side to other side replication. So this will become as an incoming VM for this and we can bring it. Now there is something called SRM. That is called Site Recovery Manager. What it is doing Site Recovery Manager? If you have a VM here, it has a IP, sorry, it is not seen here. Is there are 192.168.100.11. Now, when you are going on to the other side, you want to put that IP as different. That is 192.168. Instead of 100, you are using here 101 VLAN and you want to put here instead of 11, you want to put 101. That VM. So, this description of the next IP of this VM. And the name that is DR VM or something what you want to change or some configuration slightly network part. Not all. It will not pump you all the information you think in from mine. So, so that can be taken care by site recovery manager SRM. There will be a profile for that VM. So that profile will be applied on that VM and it will go to the respective host which you have selected because here you are having suppose 5, 10, 64 maximum host can be in one cluster so when it will go to the other cluster this VM suppose it has a NVIDIA GPU and you have 5 machines, 5 servers with the NVIDIA GPU or 5 servers with the Tesla GPU other AMD GPU so you will look for where this on which server or which ESX host to run that will be decided by SRM. So this is one which I have explained to you. And here the security is very important. So app defined and NSX micro segmentation, which I have already told you, and carbon black. This is the these are the all security features which will explain you, uh, means which will give you into a VC, VCF bundle and there are two type of license. In the license of advanced, you will get these components. In standard license, you will not get this, but you will get only NSX, VSAN, and your VSphere standard. So the license and there is one enterprise license for the VCF is that which will cover your VMware VSAN from main to the extreme to the DLC. Wherever you want to stretch, you can stretch and you can have a stretch node cluster also in that case. But the cost of the license is different. Now what is the hybrid cloud? Moving workload service between public cloud and private cloud is called a hybrid cloud. Workload means your virtual machines. From here, if you are tangling your machine between the two, that is something called elastic. Means you can play from there. You have storage into Amazon also, and you have storage here. Then you can manage to work VM from both sides and they can utilize the storage also. So this is called hybrid cloud. So any, whatever I have shown you before, it is running on your premises, that is called public, uh, private cloud. And the other are public cloud, which are running all over the world. So these are, these are the Microsoft, Azure, Amazon, A AWS, IBM cloud. These are the public clouds. There is one term which usually, usually people are using frequently, Hyperscale data center. What does it mean? Hyperscale actually. I will give you one example. Suppose if you have in a physical storage a LAN of say 4 TB, you have one shared folder path created into that 4 TB. When your share folder file size grows, what you are going to do? 
you cannot give more bigger learn or something is obstruction is there or you cannot do anything on that learn you have to create another big learn say 10 db and you have to migrate that all the data by using a learn copy xy copy block copy anyway you will do total commander you will do but you have to create a whole infrastructure for that in hyper scale resources are ample and non-stopping means if you have virtual switch you want to create more 10 ports colors expand the switch virtually 50 port switch colors define when you have a storage in a vsan you want to increase the disk increase it extend it extend the volume you get the things if you want more just add is one server you do not require to do any change you have 10 nodes you add one node 11 node will go into the cluster it will give you all the this group and join to the existing vsan so that is called hyper scale data center you, there is no restriction and you does not require to do re configuration anything on that so that is hyper scale now there is a scale out nas the which i showed you 4 tb now in a scale out nas you can just create one folder path that's all all the disk space is up to petabytes no problem the folder size can grow and grow as much as required you just slide one node slide one node add it that's all so that is called hyper scale data center now about why i'm discussing because sddc is the software defined center vmware is kind of see there are multiple types of support based on that they are giving you services so is a proactive support technology provides proactive analysis and proactive recommendation to help avoid problem scanner provides following benefits so issue and others time resolution and other blah blah so these are this slide i have added because this may ask you question question it is based on this what is the scanline health and what is sorry scanline advisor so this view is limited preview edition not more hyper here this is giving you everything all support nas well or everything is supported and it is called premier support customer they have advanced finding and reporting tailored recommendation plan so service as you pay you will get the more service okay now as you know virtual machine is a ESXO hypervisor all the virtual machines are based on this these are the application on ESX source and they are utilizing the CPU memory disk and network from the physical but not direct abstracted abstracted means not physical so question is always asked virtual machine is using physical CPU of no wrong search for the abstracted word so this is the one operating system I have shown you the, these are the resources it will utilize the memory CPU disk and network which will be the part of the VM now here we will stop and shall we, we will continue in the next session thank you for watching my session